a video chart on ticker symbol BMXC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out or levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've been doing this analysis relatively routinely, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And the chart certainly needs to be updated here as it made a, a good technical move here as we uh, go into the weekend now. And that all revolves around a, just a very foundational principle in charting, and that is when levels of support are broken, or excuse me, when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So for those of you that have watched my past videos, hopefully you remember me talking about five cents as a level of resistance. The price broke above it there. And then, like I said, when the resistances were broken, you want to see them act as support and check that out. Beautiful job right there of a resistance then turning into a support. Uh, and that's ideally what you want to see continue to happen going forward. I say ideally because if the price does drop below $0.05, cents, it's, I'm not sitting here saying that everything's totally ruined and the chart's totally destroyed. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that what would make the chart look the strongest because that would be a sign of continuation is because, you know, continuation progresses forward, right? Continuation doesn't fall back to where it was. I'm assuming I state the obvious when I say that. So the last thing you want to see the price do is fall back inside of the channel. Again, if the price falls back on the side of the channel, am I saying the entire chart's ruined? No, I'm just talking about today's price action. If today's price action is the beginning of something uh, bigger, then well, yeah, you're going to want to see continuation and higher lows. So if the price were to pull back here, bounce around and then head back up, well, that would be a, a thing of beauty because when you stop and think about it, well, you'd have a set of lows right here, previous set of lows not down there. If you picture those as stair steps, the stair steps would still be going in the upwards direction. So five cents, by no means is it a must hold level of support, but ideally, yeah, you want to see the price stay above it. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this move is going to continue upwards, where are some of these next battlegrounds at? At this point in time, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the party stopped today up there at the 0.054 cents. So there's some sellers sitting up there. So 0.054 cents, next level of resistance. But at the end of the day, from you know the big picture perspective, as long as the price just keeps on putting these higher lows like it's been doing, the long-term chart is going to continue to take care of itself. So nice close to the week. It'll be interesting to see how this one all unfolds next week. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.